Welcome to Math with Professor V. Here's your latest integral of the day. We have the antiderivative of square root of x over 1 plus x cubed dx. If you want a hint for this one, all it requires is u substitution. Depending on what you choose for u, it may take one or two rounds. So pause the video if you want to try it on your own. Otherwise, I'm going to jump right in. I'm going to do two different substitutions, and then at the end of the video, I'll give you a hint what the one substitution method would be. So I'm going to let u equal the square root of x, and then I need to go ahead and find dx in terms of u. One thing I like to do a lot of the time, not differentiate just yet, but square both sides first. So then we have u squared is equal to x. Now when I take the derivative, we'll have 2u du equals dx. So I'm almost ready to rewrite my integrand now, all in terms of u. The only problem is this x cubed down here. So what I want you to do is come look at this line right here where u squared is equal to x. If I cube both sides, u squared cubed is equal to x cubed, which means u to the sixth is x cubed. All right, so now we should be ready to roll. Instead of rad x in the numerator, I just have u. The denominator is going to become 1 plus u to the sixth. And then dx, this dx right here, I'm going to replace with 2u du. 2u du. Very nice. Let's clean it up a little bit so we can get a better handle on what's going on. Let me take the two outside. And then I have u squared in the numerator over one plus u to the sixth in the denominator. Don't forget that du, oh no. All right, now stare at it for a little bit. Are you kind of tempted to do a sort of substitution again? Yes, because I told you as much, but also like this isn't directly integrable. So let's go ahead and look down here so we can choose u appropriately. Usually when you choose u, you want du to be one degree lower, right? I didn't do that at all over here. I was just trying to get the ball rolling. But similarly here, I want you to think of this u to the sixth in the denominator as u cubed squared. And so obviously I'm not going to use u again. I just used it up. But I'm going to go ahead now and let t be u cubed. Let t be u cubed. And why is that a good choice? Because look, in the numerator, I have one power lower of u. I have u squared, which tells me that's going to be a good choice. Then dt is 3u squared du. There's my u squared du. So one third dt is u squared du. Very good. Okay, so let's rewrite this now. We have two times, instead of u squared du, I have one third dt in the numerator over one plus, very good, t squared. And then let's take that one third out. What is he doing in there? Causing a scene. Two thirds integral dt over one plus t squared. Oh, fabulous. So this antiderivative we should know. 1 over 1 plus t squared? Yes, it's 10 inverse. Okay, 10 inverse of t plus c. And then now we have to go back to the original variable that was in the problem. So t was u cubed. So 10 inverse of u cubed plus c. And then u was rad x, which is x to the 1 half power, correct? So u cubed is x to the 1 half cubed, which is x to the 3 halves. So that's how I'm going to write the final answer, just to make it all cute and pleasing. So 2 thirds, 10 inverse, x to the 3 halves plus c. And that's the end of the problem. How did you like it? Not too spicy, right? If you want to try the substitution that I said that would get the problem done in one shot, basically, it's kind of staring at you right here. So instead of letting u be x to the 1 half, if you, let me give you a little hint, now try instead letting u be x to the 3 halves, 
you'll see you're gonna get to the same result in the end, but a little more quickly, okay? It's just sometimes trickier to spot the most efficient substitution immediately. So it depends on how much practice you had or what sort of mood you in, how you slept the night before. All those things can determine how you attack an integral, you know? And it's fun, I think, when there's multiple ways to do it. I love looking at different solutions. So always share your ideas or other approaches that you guys take. Also, if you didn't check out the new upload I made yesterday about making the substitution of t equals tangent of x over 2, that was actually credited to German mathematician. And it's a very useful substitution technique for certain kinds of trig integrals to make them rational functions. So in the coming few days, I'm going to be doing more integrals of that kind. So if you haven't watched that video, I'll link it here, top right. Just give a little click so you can check it out and be ready to see how I'm going to solve some of the integrals in the next few days. So if you enjoyed this, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. And if you need to review any of your integration techniques or whatnot, I have video lectures on every topic pretty much in the calculus series, Calc 1, 2, 3. It's all organized into playlists. And also please follow me on Instagram, TikTok, Twitter, Math with Professor V. I'm pretty fun on there. I'm not tooting my own horn, but I am. And also I am an Amazon influencer. So the link to my storefront is in the description. I have a bunch of cute stuff in there. All the stuff that you see me post on my Instagram and whatnot. Anyways, thank you so much. Share. Tell your neighbor about my channel. Tell your friends. Tell your classmates. Tell whoever you encounter because I would appreciate the support. And I'll be back sooner than later. Love you all. Bye.